Hey guys, this is Crow here from Crow Archery Motorcycle Adventures. And today I got a new video topic for you to discuss. And to be honest with you, it's uh it's actually kind of serious, man. So uh first let me say thank thank all of you, you know, for bringing the channel, growing it even more and you know, trying to do things for your lives that are better. You know, me as a person that's really all I strive to do is just be there for people and help them kind of get on their way to becoming better for themselves to where they can get everything that it is that they want in their life. Now, okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the topic. And the topic is if you get on social media or if you're out just walking through your aspects of life, there are a lot of people in relationships that they really just don't want to be in and they are in for the sake of one wanting to feel like they fit in because they have someone or two because they just settle and they don't want to be alone and they've gone through so much with a specific person or whatever and they've gotten comfortable with that and they just think that that's what life is and relationships are all about that's not true uh, and you know there's a lot of people out here that are either getting married or plan on getting married thinking that it's going to change everything for the better well I'm here to tell you right now that's not ever going to solve your relationship problems it's not it's the same thing as thinking that, oh, well, if we have a kid, our things will be better. No, no, it won't. It, it will not be better. It will be worse. Maybe not immediately, but over the course of time, it will become worse. If you are ever in a spot in your life where you have any shred of doubt that you don't need to be in the relationship that you're in, then you just need to go ahead and man up, woman up, and leave. I know that sounds harsh. I know that sounds way easier said than done. And trust me, it is. It's way easier said than done. But here's the thing. When you're having doubts like that, now I'm not saying doubts in the sense of, oh, life is hitting you with some things that you just can't control. But you have to understand that people, yes, we all have the ability to change, but most people will not. They won't. They, they won't. They're going to do the same thing. And especially, you know, if you've been in a relationship where you just basically you break up, you get used to the idea of making up or breaking up to make up. That's what it is. Breaking up to make up. And God, that's so toxic. Why would you want to be in that sort of predicament? I know I wouldn't want to be. I mean, I've been there. I've done that. You know, everything I'm saying, I'm just speaking from experience. And one thing that we all share in common, we all want to be a part of the exception. We do. We all want to believe within us that we want to be a part of that that percentage where it's like, oh, well, it's, we can get through anything. We can do anything. We've been through a lot, blah, blah, blah. But what nobody wants to accept, should I say, is that not everyone can be a part of the 1%. It, it is what it is, and I hate to say that, but it's the truth. You know, truth is the greatest bow and courage the greatest arrow. And with that being said, you have got to do what it is that you are scared the most of. And you need to become single, focus on you, your purpose, and what it is that you need to be doing. Because the first step of love is love for yourself. You attract what you reflect. And if you are reflecting victim mentality, if you are reflecting arrogance, if you are reflecting, you know, all of that negativity... You are going to attract people of the same caliber. But if you are reflecting your own self-love and 
not in a you're above everyone else kind of way, but your own self-love where you're dedicated to you, doing what it is that you've got to do, you will attract that into your life. And for me, you know, I kind of got to this point to where there was a time where I was so relationship focused that basically it was just like body to body, you know. But once you find your purpose, you know, I know I have. And I've been single for a long time, and that's okay. Nowadays, I'm extremely picky about who I date. I mean, I'm picky enough to the point to where I just won't date, and I'm okay with that. And the amount of success that has come from that mentality is unreal, you know? Because the people that you need in your life or the partner that you want to find in your life needs to be the one that is able to tell you the things that you don't want to hear. Like, oh, hey, you screwed up here. But here's the kicker. They're the kind of people that want to help you on your purpose and support you on your purpose because they know that you're going to do the same. Period. And when you really, truly love someone, you're going to go to the ends of the earth for them. It don't matter if they're in Mexico, Europe, Asia, China, Japan, Canada. It, it just doesn't matter. You're going to do what you've got to do because we make time for what it is that's important to us. So either way, what I'm trying to say is that if you feel that you're in a relationship that honestly just you really don't need to be in, but you're there because you feel like you can't do better, you can do better, and you should do better. You owe it to yourself. And you owe it to, you know, these other people too, for them to branch out and become the best version of themselves as well. Now, I love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you like the content. Peace.